Hi, welcome to Pharmacotherapy of Renal and Gastrointestinal Disorder. So in this video, we we'll look at the age-related changes that affect kidney functions and micturition reflect. So I'll start with a brief introduction of the urinary system, which will be further elaborated by other groups. So our urinary system, it has three main functions, which are excretions, eliminations, and homeostatic regulations. So our kidney is the one that produces urine and micturition reflex is the process of eliminating urine. So we move on to the edge-related changes that affect kidney functions and micturition reflex. So there are three changes, which are changes to kidney, changes to bladder and other changes that can affect our kidney functions and maturitation reflect. So first of all, the changes to kidney, this could be due to decline in number of nephron, reduced sensitivity to ADH, reductions in glomerular filtration rate, and hardening of the blood vessels. Various for changes to bladder could be due to loss of muscle tone, loss of elasticity, block urethra, and monopause. Other changes could be due to nerve and brain disease, hypertension, diabetes, renal or bladder cancer, and kidney stones. So these changes will be further elaborated throughout these videos. Age-related changes affect kidney function. A decline in kidney function is due to a decrease in the number of functional nephrons. About 30 to 40% decrease between age of 25 and 85. Next is a reduced GFR. This results from fewer glomeruli, cumulative damage to the filtration apparatus in the remaining glomeruli, and also diminished renal blood flow. Also, a reduced sensitivity to ADH. With age, distal portion of nephron and collecting system become less responsive to ADH. The absorption of water and sodium ion occurs at a reduced rate and so more sodium ions are lost in the urine. The last one is blood vessel supplying the kidney can become hardened and causes the kidney to filter blood more slowly. Urinary bladder. Urinary bladder is function as a temporary reservoir for urine storage and the full bladder can contain one liter of urine. So as the bladder fills with urine, the stretch receptor in urinary bladder will stimulate sensory fiber in the pelvic nerve. Then the stimulus travel from afferent fibers in pelvic nerve to sacral spinal cord. Then the afferent fiber in pelvic nerve will stimulate ganglionic neurons in the wall of bladder. The postganglionic neuron in intramural ganglion stimulate the detrusor muscle contraction where the interneuron relays sensation to the thalamus. Then the projection fiber from thalamus delivers sensation to cerebral cortex. Then the voluntary relaxation of external urethral spincher causes relaxation of internal urethral spincher. So it begins with this stretch receptor, it will stimulate parasympathetic triganglionic motor neurons and it will trigger mic micturation reflex where when the volume is more than 500 ml. Okay, for the age related, there will be changes in bladder. The bladder wall will be changed and the elastic tissue becomes tough and the bladder becomes less stretchy. The bladder ca cannot hold as much urine as before which will decrease the bladder capacity. The bladder muscles weaken and the spincher muscle lose tone leading to incontinence. Then for the Mainly for the woman, the level of estrogen also will be decreased mainly for the woman of past menopause which will affect the woman's ability to control the flow of urine. The risk of getting hypertension and diabetes increase with age. These two conditions are particularly hazardous to the kidneys and are the leading cause of renal disease. Kidneys are supplied with dense blood vessels and high volume of blood flow to them. So, high blood pressure makes the heart work harder and over time can damage blood vessels. So, if the blood vessels in the kidneys are damaged, they may stop removing waste and extra fluid from the body. The extra fluid in the blood vessel may then raise blood pressure even more. While well, for diabetes, high level of glucose make the kidney to work harder to filter the blood which over time can damage them. The filtering units within kidney may become porous and proteins such as albumin will leak into the urine and this condition is known as microalbuminuria. 
Beside, aging will also increase the risk of central nervous system problems such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, stroke, and so on. These age-related changes in nerve and brain function will then affect the maturation reflex. This is because several muscles and nerve work together for the bladder to hold urine until you are ready to empty it. Nerve message go back and forth between the brain and the muscle that control bladder emptying. So if the nerve are damaged by illness or injury, the muscle may not be able to tighten or relax at the right time. This is known as neurogenic bladder where a person lacks bladder control due to a brain, spinal cord or nerve condition. Also, the risk for bladder cancer, renal cancer, nephropathy, kidney stones, and bladder stones also increase with age, which in turn can affect the kidney function and, and maturation reflex. As for conclusions, although it is not possible to prevent age-related changes or conditions that affecting the urinary system, there are some ways that can help to maintain our urinary health. So as you can see in this picture, there are 10 ways and I'll be highlighting just a few points of it. So the first one, you have to lower your blood pressure if you have a uh, high blood pressure because hypertension can damage your blood vessels and it is one of the causes of kidney disease and kidney failure. So you have, you'd have to quit smoking, exercise, drink water regularly, a minimum of 8 to 12 glasses daily. So you have to watch your medications and you have to avoid taking too many drugs, especially painkiller and insight if you have a decrease in kidney function. This is because the nephrotoxicity of insight is due to the interference with the autoregulations of the renal blood flow. So the heavy or long-term use of these medications can cause renal failure. So that's all from us. Thank you.